fact that in your mind, when you put in an uncomfortable position, yeah, that the go-to is. <laughs> 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 I know he needs me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize we had started. I'm Howie Mandel. This is Howie Mandel Does Stuff. I'm Jacqueline Schultz. And we have Bobby Lee and Kalila here today. Yeah, we're not, I'm not doing pranks. We, yeah, we were talking. <laughs> Look at her face. Even. What, why are you looking? Yeah, last time I was here, last time I was here we, had, we had to do pranks. Oh, okay, okay. We he call like random pranks. people and go, hey, I'm a doctor and you're going to die. Or I don't know what it was. We didn't have to. That was, you came when we first started the podcast. No. Like, yeah. But we, we, you called the doc, you called us a doctor and told somebody they were going to die? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but I think it was like. <gasps> I remember what it was. What was it? Someone who was having a baby, right? Oh, that's what it was. Oh, yeah, I remember. that was that's a good was. one. That, that was, was one of the really best. That was a really good one. one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, somebody had a baby. Somebody was pregnant. Rich's girlfriend's sister was pregnant, and we convinced, you convinced. Yeah. The, one of uh, Rich's friends, somebody from AGT, that it was his baby. That's uh, right. That's right. Were, that's was he right. pretty convincing or? Eh. Yeah. I was no. a doctor. I, would, of course, people, I'm a good actor. I'm okay. I'm an okay actor. Does he lie to you? Oh, oh my, I'm a my liar. God. You know, um, Neil Brennan was on our podcast yesterday and he said the, the, the truest thing I'd ever heard about Bobby, which is he lies about everything except for the things he needs to lie about. Yeah. Like, what? For, for example, it's like he lies about everything that he shouldn't even need to lie about. But if you ask him, hey, dude, how much money do you have in your bank? He'll tell you the exact specifics. And you're like, <laughs> you shouldn't. You should lie about that. Right, wait, Howie, Howie, ask me if I saw Top Gun. Did you see Top Gun? No. But I did. Yeah, last night was really good. But that's wow. how, what I would do at a club. Like, say, if they, I would just lie about, about that. About things but that I, And you were so convincing. That was amazing how you did that. You wanted, <laughs> I didn't even ask you guys. You want something to drink? or No, no, that's fine. I once asked this therapist. I was like, is this pathological lying she's like no it's like it's like a leisure lying it's just for fun it's somehow for fun. he finds well, let it. me ask you something as a re as as the person the most important person in the relationship that you've had how long have you guys been together 10 years almost yeah. so lying is not a honesty is not an issue with you um i would say that <laughs> i can sort of read through his bullshit bluffs at this point like i'm i'm a master I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lie Jedi. But does he do what he just did? Like, will he say yes. two seconds later mm -hmm. that I'm just kidding, I was lying? Uh, no, I just know that he's full of shit. Oh, okay. Is that what you love about him? Um, <laughs> for the more important life things, of course, I'd, I, I sit him down, I snap my fingers and say, okay, we cannot, this has to be a meaningful talk we're having right now, no lies. Yes. I don't lie about- um, I love the raising the hand. I don't he raises the hand, it's like a class. Yeah, we're having yeah, yeah. Bobby Lee 101, go ahead. I don't lie about serious shit. Like if, if, for instance, like I, I, I would never cheat on her. I would never like um, do it. Like I would never say oh, I, I went to the doctor and I found out I have cancer. Like to, to fuck with her emotions in that way. You know what I mean? Well, early on in the relationship, you did. Yeah, early, <laughs> early on in the relationship, you told her you had cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Well, yeah. can I can I just tell a, a small story? And it, it, it's it's don't be you know it. it we're t nine years removed from this story. Go ahead. No feelings about it. Go you ahead. Do you know the story she's gonna tell? No. Oh, you have no idea. Just a, a variety. It could be anything. Just a giant grudge I'm holding, but no, no oh, worries. She has a deep resentment. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so um, in the beginning of our relationship, I think I had lost my phone one day. And he was like, here, I have like a, he gave me his bat phone or like a phone, but that was still linked to his other phone. So, but he, I didn't know that it was still linked to his other phone. So messages that he was sending back and forth with a woman were popping up on this phone that he lent me because he's an idiot. I and thought you said you never cheat. I he, never he, cheated. He didn't cheat. He didn't oh, cheat. Oh, okay. But you know, it but was I, like. But I say, I say things to other women sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and so he had said something questionable to a woman who was an attractive well, just, just woman. Tell me what it was. You said um, she was like, "You're a king," and then you replied with, "I want to raw dog you." Oh my god. I <laughs> Which is a, a, a radio station on Sirius. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's, all, that's all I know about it. Yeah, I want yeah, you to yeah, hear yeah. the comedy that I love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, so, condoms don't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> so, very small. It's like a minion. <laughs> yeah, 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 so it's small. Also, is this a PG show? I shouldn't be saying No, that. No. 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 Okay. We, you can even say cunt. 
Oh, perfect. Okay. All right, Howie. I don't like the way you said that. But anyway, okay, move on. Sir. Well, he oh. said, well, basically, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> with the hard T. I didn't like it. I didn't like the hard T. <laughs> she don't have a problem with the C. E- 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 it's, it's fine. It's the T. <laughs> e- 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 and so I'm in the other room just minding my own business. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I go in. Well, you're not minding your own business. <laughs> well, it's I, I would love to mind my own business, except this thing is popping up. So I go to him and I'm like, Bobby. That, why are you doing this? And he was like, that's not me. <laughs> you I said, didn't write that's that. That's not me? That's not me? He's like, I didn't write that. I would never write that. And I'm like, Bobby. He goes, like, give me your phone. These two things match. He goes, that's not me. That's not me. And he walks away. <laughs> yeah. You just deny, right? <laughs> If you just deny, and? Right, and, uh, you still have to take me to court. It worked, though. Right. They're still together. Yeah, we're still together. Yeah. How no. did you resolve that? We never did. We never did. It's not me. Right now. It wasn't me still. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm standing by it. It wasn't me. It wasn't him. It wasn't him, <laughs> yeah. Howie. It, wow. Yeah. Reality is subjective. You're like really Shaggy. Is. Didn't Shaggy have that song? It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's nine years ago. That's before the song. So you no. were saying you came up with the idea for the song. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. Here's another thing that I don't do now. is it's like I don't lend her my uh, iPad. Oh, look at her. Look at you. <laughs> the reason why I don't lend her my <laughs> iPad because it's like I, don't, I didn't realize that your phone and your iPad are linked as well. Right. Right. So if she, she, sometimes her mm-hmm. iPad's dead. Right. And she'll go – um. Can I watch movies on your iPad? And I used to go, yeah, go ahead. But then it's like I realized that she could read my messages and stuff. Right. They don't have to so be linked. So you are still, uh, you still, uh, no, you message, no, 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 no. no. He's but been a good still... boy. Good, he's a good boy. I'm a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> 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 a good boy. And and uh, all kidding aside, how are you, buddy? I feel great, man. Good. Um, so I, I don't. When's the last time I saw you? Um. Last year. Yeah. A while ago. At your house. And then I know you've gone through some shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like um, I went through a kind of hell and then now I'm like completely in the light. It's amazing. And you... I love you and Rich because you're – what does Rich – is he is – he... There's nobody named Rich. What are you talking about? <laughs> or, or there's a guy that you hang out with. Yeah, Rich. That's your, your Rich, right? My buddy. <laughs> yeah, your buddy. My buddy. Right? He's in so Kava right now. Yeah, so you and Rich, you, you guys always reach out to me yep. to see how I'm doing. Yes, I do. And what's going on. Right. And it's like, um, and I, I'm not making you. I don't, I'm not asking you to talk about it. I'm just honestly, as a friend, just saying you seem to be doing good now. And no, but I'm you're, getting, I'm getting a little emotional. No, but you're, but you're interrupting saint. my. Okay. Let him be emotional, go Dad. Ahead, well, it's, now it's gone. No, go, yeah, yeah. I fucked up. You yeah. did. People say that it in the me. comments that I talk over. <laughs> you do. You talk over everyone. I'm gonna shut up. How are you? Go. <laughs> so we're both gonna shut up. <laughs> no, I just want to say that. Um, you know, it's like I don't really – there's only some people in my life that will ask me how I'm doing. But it's like, you know, I, honestly, Howie, I honestly grew up with you. I mean, I get say that all the time, you know what I mean? And I, um, I've um, i always been a fan of yours um, since I was a, a little boy. And um, just the thought that you, you're just a real human being and you always ask how I'm doing. And I really honestly have an emotional connection to you. I, I trust you and I, I, I consider you also a friend. And so it's it's just been a, a real cool um, dream for me to even have you in my life. So um, I really appreciate that. Well, that means a lot, buddy. It really does. And I got to say something, and I feel the same way about you. And you're one of the funniest people. You know, I, I used to, I think the first time I saw you was the, before uh, I saw you on Mad TV, I saw you at the comedy store. Mm. And I've always loved your stand up. I think you're one of the best stand ups there is. And it's, and I say, I use this word ad nauseum over and over but there are there are people that are authentic and really authentically funny they don't look like i don't like if i'm watching somebody that looks like they wrote some jokes or some material and i feel like everything you do and as crazy as it gets comes from your reality mm. and i also uh, uh, kalila i don't know you that well but I, I i don't but i love you too because i feel like you take really good care of him i Here's what I'll say. When I first met Bobby, it was like meeting someone from a previous life who you've already lived this extensive life together with. Like, it was weird. It was like, I know you, I understand you, and I will accept everything about you. And it was vice versa, that feeling. So I think that um, we've been together for so long, but no matter what this relationship 
um, becomes, whether we become, whether we get married, whether we go Is, the opposite. You know, there's been talk of that. Whether we go the opposite direction, whether we, whatever iteration of love that we share, I, I genuinely think that I will never not love him in this lifetime. Like, wow. I will always. She's my best friend. That's what you got to have first. Yeah. But I've been trying to push the marriage thing. Mm. I know you have. But why? Uh, because he it's said. Intrusive. No, because <laughs> it's when you say it's intrusive. <laughs> what are the upsides? Mind your, of mind your own it. fucking business. Well, I mentioned it. Let <laughs> yeah. me just say something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mentioned the word only because I have no other. I'm going from. I'm authentic too. My point of reference to my best friend in my life. I've been married for 42 years. It doesn't mean what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I don't. I'm not pushing mm. it. I'm asking what your thoughts. I want to hear the other side of not being married and being together. It's, but it's uh, when just... when I mentioned it to you, you said if Shin Lim would do it. <laughs> do what? The marriage. You wanted to make him make the ring appear. Uh, did I not introduce you to Shin Lim? Yeah, but you know, I met him in the flesh. When? Yeah. After? Yeah. Did you know that? He went to see him naked. <laughs> <laughs> he, he made my penis disappear. <laughs> no, um, he, yeah, I met him. He came over to do my other podcast. And what a kind man. Well, so what was the deal? If I'm if he if I met Shin Lim or you introduced me to Shin Lim that Kalila and I would get married? No, no, you said on the other podcast. Okay, go ahead. You can answer. Yeah, you can you go. No, don't, I just said you've been with this girl <laughs> at that time. You said I've been with this girl for like six years. I said, is there any talk of marriage? You go. I just want it to be special. I wanna. I want it to be special. I want like Shin Lim to show up, and I want. I want it to be magical. If you could get, and then I called Shin Lim, and then, what? You fucked it up. I did. Yeah. Because I wanted, Shin, and I know now we know. I wanted Shin Lim, right, to help me with the proposal, right, right. But now that you said this out loud, I can't do it now because I wanted to do something magical, like something, like taking, like getting a ring out of her mouth, or you know, doing a magical trick. You know what I mean? To to, to propose to her, and now that you said it, I can't do that because next time. I put my hand around her ear. She's going to go, are you going to propose? It's not, a, it's not a surprise. It's hard. Now that she knows, it's going to be hard for you to hide the ring in her mouth. <laughs> had, I, yeah, yeah. had I not mentioned it, there would be a time where you can distract her and put shit in her mouth, yeah, and yeah. then she wouldn't know it was there, and right. then surprise. I yeah. ruined it. Yeah, you did ruin it. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's fine. But or just, maybe it was disappointing because she did hear it and she thought when Shin Lim came on the podcast, that was going to be the time that you did it. And then it was a big letdown. Mm. Mm -hmm. or Shin was Lim, it? Shin Lim could just be a giant decoy of a theory now in my head. You've built the Shin Lim idea in my head, but then you're really just going to, you know. Go for David Copperfield? To me. Oh, maybe. Who are you talking to? Me or him? Him. <laughs> oh, all of you actually, both yeah. of you. So it's yeah. it's working. So the Shin Lim thing is a decoy. He's really just gonna propose to me in our three door Prius. No, but really, with no magic. <laughs> you have a three door Prius. One of yeah. the doors is One of the doors is gone. Where did it go? It's, it's family... smashed in. It's smashed in. But we consider it a family heirloom, yeah. and we're never gonna get rid, of, get rid of it. We have a lot of memories there. We have nice cars as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so, but. Uh, and I'm not pushing this on you. I'm probably going to get in the in the comments. People are saying I'm pushing. I I respect whatever it is and how you want to live your life. So there's no talk of marriage. No, they, I I want to get married. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've wanted to get married for a long time, and I've wanted children for a couple of years. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 37 now. Okay, well, I so had to think. I'm 37. She's yeah. 37. Oh, Jackie, same age. You yeah. could be my daughter. Age twins. Yes, I could be. Yes, and. So she wants children and she wants to get married. But I have said otherwise on our podcast <laughs> to just be antagonistic. Like we create this um, um, kind of vibe on our podcast that we're always in, in opposition to each other. But right. the truth is like in our own personal conversations, I've always wanted to get married and I wanted children. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 the fact that in your mind, yeah, that when you put in an uncomfortable position, yeah, that the go to is <laughs> <laughs> just like I turned into a minion. Most people would say, you know, she says she's talking marriage, she's talking children. I don't know what to say, I don't know yeah. how to deal with it. But Bobby, yeah, <laughs> I've always done that in and therapy when it gets uncomfortable, I do that. Oh, I love what you do in therapy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, go. He, he shortens his session. Like, if it's 20 minutes in and if it's too much, he's like, all right, bye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he I'll leaves. Just, yeah, I'll just leave. You leave therapy? Yeah, I'll still pay. 
<laughs> and, and then the next week I'll come back. I'm so sorry, love. Or sometimes she'll go, you, you want to talk about the trauma of your dad's violence? I'll go, bye ya, bye ya, bye ya. And then Which you leave? Which means? What? Nothing. Which, it means nothing. It's just me for me to just fill the space with uncomfortability. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I'm I'm getting better at this. Because, uh, so now he's you up realize to you've been minutes. making that sound for half of this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, but I'm getting better at it. I'm. I'm. Uh, I haven't left in a while. Um, therapy because I do it every week. I have a psychiatrist now too, and I, I don't leave that as well. And um, uh, I, you know, I've been doing a lot of work on myself. So um, I've been listening to people and um. Yeah, you just, he really has been. Yeah, I've been it's really been like improving. a completely different human. In fact, being. her stepdad said something's different about him. Dude. I think the other day, like you offered um, to help my mom take the trash out. Yeah, and she was, was like, "Who the fuck are yeah. you? Like, yeah. get out of here!" <laughs> or, she was so spooked by it. Yeah, or really? like her stepdad, I never really touched really, but lately I've been like, every time I see him, I hug him in the beginning and after, and I um, I ask him how he's doing and stuff like that. I never do that. Wow. He likes that. He likes the. Touching. He's just like he you know. I, you know, I'm a proponent of mental health. We we've, we've talked about it, yeah. and I know you've had a, a lot of tough things in your life, and you're coming through it. And I love that you remove the stigma just by talking about it and normalizing it. But and I'm not uh, there, no judgment here. But to reach a point where you're willing to take the garbage out and hug your stepfather is just <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I know, it so, I know it sounds like I'm a lunatic, but How but he, she goes, she's even, the uh, fact that she got so emotional, the other day he said, can I take the trash out? Do you know what a big deal it's that is? Huge, no. I'm like one of my biggest, one of our bigger fights at home always has to do with the fact that I'm, I always feel like I am a Roomba vacuum following him. Like, <laughs> like I don't think he's ever physically taken a piece of trash and put it in a trash can in his life. Ooh, 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 but can I say this? Yes. Uh-huh. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, so she was in Hawaii, right? Mm -hmm. And I knew that she was coming home. Right. And the room was a mess. You should see in the moon. It was, it was like an IED went off in it, right? And I go, you know what? I'm going to make the bed. Because I was going, I wasn't going to wow. see her because I had to go to Florida to do some, to work. Right. So um, I go, I'm going to make the bed. I'm going to clean the room. What's, what? No, I remember. Yeah, that. yeah, and and I left, and I went to uh, uh, Florida. Obviously, it wasn't good enough for her. No, well, I'll tell you why it wasn't, it wasn't good, good enough. enough. It wasn't I good enough. I, I've never done that before, and it wasn't good enough. And I see this really well-made bed with miter corners. Do you guys know what miter corners are? I know it's, when you miter wood, you uh, did he miter the corners well, of the bed with a miter? How, like, isn't that a power tool? Miter. Don't you cut the corners off of something <laughs> when you miter? You sanded the corners of your bed? <laughs> Miter corner is basically like how um, like nurses are taught to do hospital beds where it's a very crisp line You're a nurse, on right? the edge. She was I went to nursing training. school yeah. for, yeah. Um, I graduated um, nursing school from Cal State Long Beach. But I saw, I came home Shut and up. I saw this amazing <laughs> bed that had been, I'm like, well, I know, I was like, did Bobby do this? I had to ask my niece, I had to call my mom. Did you make the bed? He goes, no, Bobby did that. So I was like, oh my God, things are changing. So I tuck myself into bed. I wake up the next morning and there are puncture holes on the side of my torso. And I didn't realize, I'm like, what the fuck are these? Did I get bit by a spider? And it turns out I had been sleeping on sunflower seed shells that he forgot <laughs> to clean out of the bed. Because he keeps all his bags of sunflower seeds on his side of the bed, which drives me crazy. He's sunflower seeds in bed? <laughs> in bed. Oh, in bed. No, no, I, I'm, obsessed. In, I'm, obs I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Howie, in his sleep. Every, Wait, and you spit them out in bed? Where yeah. do you spit the, the shells? That's everywhere. He has a spittoon just for his uh, sunflower seeds, and I just cannot even look that direction. Wait, so the you bed? go to bed and you hear nacho like cheese, ranch flavor, uh, barbecue, love it. And we heard you Taco. itch your foot too, what? right? And so you have itchy foot stuff in yes. your bed too. Oh no, no, my, look, my, look at my feet now. I'm noticing look you have a pedicure. Yes. Like, look at my, my feet are completely healed. Change How did that me. happen? What? How did that happen? Um, I've been putting medication on my finger between the toes and I'm getting- On your feet. finger between on the toes. Yeah, on my finger and between the toes. <laughs> on my, oh, especially on, on my finger. And then um, I've been, uh, and then I, I'm getting pedicures and stuff now and my nails and everything. We go together now. We go together. He, so you, you, you're eating- I'm jealous of your relationship. <laughs> Don't be, please what, don't be. Yeah, 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 you yeah, want to yeah. live with a man who does miter corners and spits his shells in the bed? Yeah. yeah. 
So I don't understand the point. So you weren't satisfied? The point is just when you think he's done something great, there's a likelihood that you're going to end up with holes in your body. Half glass, half full. It's well, no. Is that the one of class? No, glass half empty. Yeah, you're. Yeah, that's you're, a, ha- you're a half empty kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was looking up. Yeah. He was. He's glass was, half full. Yeah, yeah. your glass. Yeah, half yeah. Empty. That what I was trying to do was like you know do something kind, mm-hmm. and then she found you know the, th- the it wasn't perfect. No, I still said thank you so much. You're welcome. But also like, where's the neosporin? Right, right. <laughs> Because her, she had little puncture wounds on her side. Size Can you get an infection uh, if you're with somebody intimately? How, wait, how do you not wake up from getting well, punctured was, by sunflower seeds? So I sleep on my left side and I can stay in one position the whole night. And I was so exhausted from travel. And I just didn't think that it, you know, I'm like, oh, that sensation there. I'm like, not a big deal. This is how she <laughs> sleeps too. Can you do this? Can you, uh, honestly. So like, you know, when, when I lay, right, I'm either flat or on my side fetal position. Sometimes on my stomach, right? Right. Right. She can sleep with her knees up like this. Oh, I have to. I have a heart condition. It feels. Oh, oh yeah, I it, forgot. It, it, the blood returns. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot her heart that? condition? Yeah, no, she does, yeah. Even on the plane, I have to keep my knees kind of closer to my chest. What's your like, heart condition? I used to, well, I had a, an ablation. It's a procedure uh, where. I've they, had four. Oh, nice. So nice. You know. nice. <laughs> nice. You got, and you understand. You're somebody who understands, you know, the electrical conductivity. You of have AFib? Heart. I don't have AFib. I have two things. I have this thing called AVNRT and another. AVNRT. Yeah. Something yeah. with birds. <laughs> and another one that's a little bit more serious that I get occasional runs of this thing called VTAC. So, Whoa. which is not great, but. Um, um, so Bobby knows that. And for some reason, when I keep my knees closer to my chest, I have more blood return. I feel a little bit less lightheaded. It's just something that it's, I... It's a serious thing. Over the years, we've had to call the ambulance many times late at night. But AFib is not fun either. Okay. No, then, then either is an ablation. Right. Yeah. Uh, you didn't... I was really kind of into my ablation. No, I, <laughs> what? I, I was a procedure I was a, where they like. You want to do zap? it again? Or the Wait, next you day? were awake? No, I was the ablation. Awake. That, that's cardioverted. Yeah, cardio, cardioverted. Uh, oh, but is they different. also. I they did cardiovert. Burn. You were cardioverted. Well, you had to. You were probably running the AFib for a long time. I then. was running the AFib for a long time. For those that don't know, cardiovert is they take those paddles you see when they bring people back to life and they go, yeah. <laughs> and you're. That's not fun. They also give you the other cardio version is when they give you adenosine and you feel like your heart stops for a minute and then it goes back I to didn't normal have that rhythm. One. That either way, that's not fun. The ablation beep, 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 beep. <laughs> is a little different. They go in through your groin. femoral, the groin, and that's then, what I said. The way to a man's heart is through his groin, <laughs> right? And they burn off abnormal tissue in your heart. But I stayed awake for four hours of that. No, you were awake for it. Mm-hmm. I was awake and they no, were I like, was put under. they give you synthetic adrenaline and they're like, now your heart's going to beat for 300 beats. So a I had, I had the ablation. I won't say what hospital or what doctor, but they, they brought me into the hospital mm-hmm. and they rolled me into the, uh, operating room. I guess they did it. And then a guy Cat comes lab. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was in the Jew lab. But anyway, uh, and they started, uh, the guy t- took me and he started shaving me yeah. down there. Right, because he's he's, uh, he's he's got a razor and right. he's shaving me. This is before they. I've got a little IV and that's got a little Valium or something in it, so mm-hmm. I was feeling kind of light. And I'm watching him shave me, and then I lie back on the bed in the cat lab, as you call it. <laughs> and um, this is at a teaching hospital, and I look up and there's like 20 students. I sold out. <laughs> I'm lying on the bed, and 20 students are watching them shave my my crotch. Wow. <laughs> And then I did went. Did you know that? They, did they ask for your approval if that's okay or no? No, no. And I didn't get. I didn't get any. No, no. You didn't get f- at least eighty percent of the door. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't they have to ask? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I maybe. They, I'm not sure if 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 it's a known teaching hospital what the parameters are with that. But that is weird. I would definitely be like, hey, can can they just? Yeah, not be here. I I I didn't have that. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't uh, that conscious of. Uh, Howie, I'm sorry that you have AFib. I didn't know that about. I thought you were a hypochondriac. I am. Yeah, I know you are, but I didn't know that you had a heart condition. I'm so sorry. No, you, don't. That's not a. Heart. You're not a hypochondriac. Am I? You should be a hypochondriac. No, what are you? He's well, a, he I, has OCD, OCD but you're that. not a hypochondriac because every time he is sick or he probably does need help, he's like, "No, I'm fine," until mm. he passes out. 
Oh, uh, unconscious. I'm unconscious a lot, yeah. and there's always nine one ones. But but I uh, I take so much medication now, like uh, psychiatric medication. I'm on one. Okay, I'm on. Uh, what what, what do you what do you want? Really? You want to compare? <laughs> no, I just want to know. Curious. I'll it's name it. one. Name me one. I'm on Zoloft. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> what do you want? Ritalin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. I just want to know. I, you know, if we want to know each other as friends, then we right? should share, we our share our prescriptions. One thing? Our prescriptions. Yeah. But I'm. Uh, that's not because of Zoloft. But I'm on so many that I am. I'm. Uh, to be honest with you, mentally and physically numb. So I don't, <laughs> I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really give a shit. So I think that if I was not medicated, I would. I I think I am a hypochondriac, uh, but now I don't care, and I don't feel pain anymore. Yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> I don't because it's. I think you and I are like minded because I I the last only in the last three months I've been on. I've never been on medication before, and you know I live my life where it's like. I'll be sitting there, you know, eating dinner, and I'll I'll be thinking about twelve different things at the same time, right? Rushing, and half of them are like death, and you know what I mean, and and, and just. Sadness. I got you beat. Seventy five percent of mine, <laughs> death and sadness. Yeah. Wow, wow, you know. So, um, and it's like, also, it's like if I have any problem, I, it's I felt like it was my job to figure out what the solution to every problem is. Like, if this happens, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. This happens, and like. All those thoughts are no longer there for me. You know what Intrusive I mean? Intrusive. Yeah. Thoughts, and yeah. I can just kind of listen to people. And it's just, it's made my life manageable. You and know? now he doesn't think of those problems. And with that time, he goes, Can I take out the garbage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can that's I, what it, I Can think I that, hug your father? Yeah. I uh, think yeah. so. It's almost like he just freed up some space there to be a considerate human being. Before it was always too many things up there to have space for any type of like consideration and so now it's like oh maybe i can't sit down but you know the truth someone. of the matter is that y y you use the word considerate but i think that every human being should take care of themselves before right. others i mean you should think of others listen a I'm, a, I'm a parent and yeah. my kids come first and and that but i i think if you don't take care of yourself and you get so fucked up that you're not good if you're not good for yourself you're not going to be good for anybody else so. right and that was very clear with him he hadn't taken care of himself in a very very long time or at least wasn't um even open to the idea that perhaps you know there had to be some like medical intervention or that he needed to see a psychiatrist and a therapist why but were you were you resistant to that yeah because i was i was always in 12 step groups and i was just like i have that and i don't need anything else you know but it just it turns out that i do i um Oh, there's no amount of help that any human being needs. Yeah. There's no, right. I got this. Yeah. God, Top Gun was such a good movie. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's like, okay, go ahead. Uh, beep, beep. Uh, you, <laughs> honestly, no, honestly, though, do you guys see Top Gun yet? Maverick? No. I hated the first movie. Really? Yeah. When, yeah. When I was a kid, I saw, yeah, because it was like, I'm going to say something. Because you didn't have the need for speed, right? <laughs> I didn't need the speed. I need, I, I'm, I'm speed. You know, but I, no, uh, for me, it's like, I don't like, you know, like the original Top Gun was very white. Like Americana, white, machismo. And you hate the whites. No, I love whites. Okay. I love whites. Right. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble, but it's like, no, you know. You won't. you won't. But, you know, just a lot of, I, I'm American, but a lot of American flags. And, yeah, you know what I mean? Top, I didn't like it. But um, this one had the same elements, but it, it I, I, I got goosebumps from head to toe. I think I'll tell you why. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. I think we've been so subjected to superhero movies, right? Because those are the, our new blockbusters. Right. And um, and those are the movies that I would go to the theater to watch, right? You know, I'll go to the Avengers. I'll watch it in the theater. Any smaller movie, I wouldn't do it, right? Are you a Marvel or a DC person? I, I would. I, I like either one, okay. right? But I'm, I'm actually at a point now where it's a, they nauseate me. Like, I saw Doctor Strange with my friend Gene, and it was, like, nauseating. It was, like, it just over and over and over again and so and secondly um this movie was perfectly paced right it was like phenomenally acted and they got the tone right and it was riveting it was like i was at the edge of my seat the whole time and, and I, I i've never liked that in a movie right i was just going wow like i wanted to make love to miles teller mm. and i didn't want to make love to him in fantastic four stick 
Wow. Remember, he was in for that Fantastic Four. You know no, we I mean? get it. I'm not, the, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't want to interrupt now. I'm being yeah, 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 yeah. cognizant. <laughs> so I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's like um, in the last five years, I've probably never seen a movie this good. Wow. Wow. In terms of Hollywood Hollywood blockbuster. And you didn't go. Did you not see it together? No, he went with his um, My, friend. I, I have a Jean. lover named Gene. Yeah, he has a lover named Gene. Do you want to do it to her raw dog? No, it's No, a it's him. a boy. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, uh, listen. I'll tell you about my friend Jane. Okay, okay. my friend. Jane, I'm gonna tell you about my. Friend, I, you know, Howie. I don't. I don't know if you relate to this. Okay, but I realized throughout my whole in the last 25 years, the only co- friends I really have are either com- are comedians, right, right? Right. And I, I since I see comedians at clubs, I don't ever call somebody and go, um, "Hey, let's go watch a movie and have dinner." So usually I'll see a comic at a club and go, let's go get grab a bite to eat, right? Right. But I I don't go to movies or go to a park or do anything with anybody right. ever, right? right? This dude is the first dude where I because he's not a comic. I love that, right? He's a producer, but he you know he's very talented. But <laughs> yeah, but he um I don't know why I'm looking at the but <laughs> but he's like the fr- he's Korean too, right? And I've never had a Korean friend. I'm right. Korean. No, I know. You're, Did you know that? <laughs> I had a feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he walks Korean. Like last night, we were having dinner before the movie, and he walks Korean. And what I is just, a Korean walk? Oh, sorry, can I stand up? Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. stand up. You can walk. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that just, looks like an old a... man with <laughs> yeah. arthritis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that too. So it's like you know, um, the so, hands behind the back. Is yeah, that Korean? Like an older Korean. Yeah, but we ponder. That's every old man. Yeah, we, we ponder. We ponder. You mm. never pondered? Not yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should try it. Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And I reflect, I ponder, and um, yeah. So uh, he's like my only um, real friend. I now think, you right? talked about a friend that you want a friend that you go to the park with or go to a movie with. I can't imagine. Like I don't have a friend, and I love you. I would never say, "Hey, hey, Bobby, want to go to the?" That's I made why some he doesn't sandwich. call you, Dad. I know, but I made some sandwiches. <laughs> I made some sandwiches. Let's go to the park. I gotta bring the blanket. Bring that blanket. Yeah. And we'll have a like we'll have some sandwiches. We'll talk. And we'll, we'll talk, talk it out, and then we'll go to the movie. Yeah, but the thing is, is that I think regular people do that. You really think they go to picnics and movies? But not a picnic, but maybe not a park. I, I, I you fucked said up. a park. I know. Fucked up with park. <laughs> I fucked up with park. I fucked up with park. Okay, so no park. We have never been to a park with Jade. That's weird, right? <laughs> I thought that when <laughs> yeah, you yeah, said yeah. it, and I didn't want to. I, 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 I didn't want to interrupt. You guys, you guys have gone to get acai bowls together. Yeah, like would you, like, if I called you. Yeah, and I said, "Hey, Howie, what are you doing?" You say nothing, nothing right? Right. And I go, "Hey, you want to go to um and get some acai bowls at Nature Well?" Yeah, I'll yes, pick I you do. up. Would okay. you do that? Absolutely. What about the spa, Howie? No, no, because I go to Gene with me and Gene go to spa. I Why? won't go to the spa. Why? You, you won't go to the spa. I anyways. won't go to the spa alone. Mm. Let alone, I've never had a massage in my life. Mm. I know, but would you go to the sp- like? What would we do spa? at the spa? So if I, <laughs> this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. So uh, I love yeah, the yeah. spa. I love the spa. Goes I go every, every night, night. Every night. Really? Yeah. What do you do at a spa? Well, there's two I go to. I have. I go. To, I wouldn't take you to the ghetto one because you would be weirded out. The ghetto spa. Tell yeah. me what you do at a ghetto spa, and then you'll tell. The me. ghetto spa. Start is like, low, and then we'll move. All right. Up so to the, the ghetto classic. spa is. I go to a spa called. I don't want to name it, but why not? Give them a shout out. Shouldn't they have business? I, I don't think. I don't want people to go there. I'll say it. Fuck it. It's a, it's a place called Hyundai Spa. I'll just give you the... It's on 6th and Ardmore in Koreatown, right? You Not only you gave out the name, you gave <laughs> yeah, out the yeah. address. You went from I don't want to mention it I, to I, you I, gave the yeah. uh, right. Google map. So it's a variety... So if, if, there's no sign that says spa on this spa, right? And there's mm. there's only... It says taxes. Taxes? And, yeah. And ping pong. And ping pong. Oh. Right? But there's a spa in there. Right? Is there taxes and ping pong? Yeah, they uh-huh. do your taxes, ping pong, and the, it's also a nightclub. Yeah, taxes, it's ping pong. Oh, yeah. Kyle is looking. Do you know it, Kyle? You're, I've I've walked past that several times. Yeah, he yeah. lives he lives in Korea. Oh yeah, yeah, Hyundai Gay Day Spot, right? And there's also here's what's ironic too about it. Not ironic, weird about it. Here's what's weird about it. It was taxes, <laughs> ping pong, and it's a spa. But yeah, wait, nightclub. Yeah, but wait, nightclub. here's what's weird about it. Yeah, okay, here's what's weird about it. Right. Go ahead. In the front of the door, there is one of those barber shop spinny things. Yeah, the candy stripe. The, thing. Yeah, the candy stripe thing for some reason, and they don't cut your hair. <laughs> what the fuck kind of place is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what they have is you can buy. Framed Michael Jordan posters, <laughs> no. which is amazing, and I'm going to buy one one day. How yeah. many? Did, uh, you would go here. I you would. would go I there. would go to that yeah. just to yeah. see that. I'll tell you why you would like it, right? Because every single time I go, mm-hmm. you'll see Pauly Shore. 
<laughs> because because <laughs> every single time because every I, line of this <laughs> description <laughs> is just heightening this yeah, yeah, yeah. heightening this yeah and we have somebody uh, on this show that just animates animates, <laughs> animates. i cannot wait to see the animation of what you're describing yeah of people playing ping pong not getting their hair cut yeah and then doing their taxes yeah so Polly is always there because i made the mistake of 20 years ago introducing him to this place Right, right, and so now he goes every every day, right? Every day, yeah. And if I see him there, I have to leave. Why? Why? <sighs> because he, it's uncomfortable. Why? Why? Because he'll like go, he'll start sc- like singing Chinese people. I love Chinese people, and no one's Chinese. It's Korean. <laughs> yes. Said. <laughs> Do they have they not told him? No, because they don't speak English. They think they're, they're he's speaking. He's singing like a song from one of his movies. You know what I mean? They but they know. understand they English. Know- yeah, but they, they don't care. In- That's what I love about Hyundai is because it's 24 hours. Right. And it's old school. Like you see Koreans with bullet holes in, in them, like like mafia-esque. You know what I mean? Korean. You do. Yeah. You what about I mean? the, the temperature of the sauna? Oh, so this is why I like. It's it's illegal. Oh, what? don't. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. We can edit. Uh, 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 maybe it's. I don't know if it's illegal. No, I don't know if it's illegal. It's not illegal. It's very it's hot. Not illegal. It's, the it's, heat. It's, it's like the surface of the sun. <laughs> the sauna. The sauna. Even and their like steam that. room, I love it. How long can you spend in it. there? What? How long can you spend in there? Half hour. And you find in the half hour in the by just a half hour in a sauna is enough time to have your taxes done? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that like people do heat rooms or whatever, and they start hallucinating? Like, like sweat they, lodges. Sweat, sweat lodges. lodges. Is yeah. that what it's like? Yeah, I think that's that what is. it's like. And so then, um, I'll go. Is it, this one of those happy ending places? No, there isn't. There's no happy ending. It's so a sad it's a, ending. It's, it's a, a sad li- ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like you go in. Is there ping pong? Yes, upstairs. Yes, yes. Very gift- competitive ping pong. Not just people who just want to play go. for fun. These people come in like fully, like with with the country they're representing. Like it's a very legitimate um, table tennis place. Professional. Professional. Professional, dude. But he's a professional. I'm well, a he's professional. Sort of semi-pro, kind of. I play like t- table pong? tennis. I, 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 I have to say this. Okay. I'll am, play I, am, I, am I doing too, am I talking too fast right now? No, you're fine. No. I want to calm down because okay. I want to, you know, this is a part of my, you know, growth is to get not too so excited. <laughs> All right. You do and, you. No, I don't want to. I want to okay. just be more, okay. more Adam Carolla-ish. Okay. Really? That's what you're That's, going for? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So here's the That's deal. That's kind of random. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forget it. Forget it. I'm going to be myself. So, um, so upstairs, right? It's, <clears throat> it's professional players, like from Olympic teams, I believe, right? And in terms of my ping pong playing, all Korean? No, from all over the like I've seen Russian dudes up there and stuff. Wow, and they're so good. Polly up there? No, he doesn't <laughs> know. No, no. So, um, but me, I think that the two people that as comedians that will beat me every time in ping pong, there's only two I believe: Frank Caliendo, as himself. Yes, as himself, <laughs> not as John Madden. I can beat him as John Madden, okay. right? And number two, um, Judah Friedlander. Judah Friedlander plays good table but, tennis. Not just good. Perfect, like they could be if they focused their attention on just ping pong, they could have been masters. And are they at this place? No. Okay. So, <laughs> so I that's the first spa, Hyundai Spa. Okay. Right. Wait, I, I'm still. I, I don't want to. I don't want to move on from this place. Okay. I just think that this place is fascinating. It's so amazing. What do, do they you, have a website? Do they have? I can we put it up? <laughs> How do you spell what you're saying? Hyundai. So Hyundai it, Health. Club it's H Y U N D A E. Or like Hyundai the car? Or even like a yellow or I at the end. Hyundai, yeah. Like Health the car? Club. What? Like close, the car? Close, yeah. close to the car. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I never Googled it, but you know. So how did you find this? My dad told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad told me about it. Like, and hey, hey, will you move to LA? Yeah. Oh, Hyundai. Right? And so, you know, honestly, like I was, I, I for all my life, what's, it's coming up. There it is. Yeah, Hyundai Health Spa. Hyundai. See the photos. Yeah. Hit the images. Yeah. Masks. You can buy masks there. You can buy masks. Oh, they're selling products yeah. there. That's yeah. our, that's, that's our, yeah. And then. There's, uh, no, there's no gym. You know, it says gym. So, what is, so what's that? That's, that's that looks not, like eating. I, I've never seen that before <laughs> in my life. That's not a place. That's the building, though. But that the, is the building. Okay. So see, that, look, 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 the, the barbershop. Where? Right in the, in that, to the right, right there, that. Oh, right oh, yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. There's one in the other side too. Yeah. <laughs> Can you read Korean? No. Oh. Yeah, so but look, there's nothing that says there on the building. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, no. Go down, spot. go, go down a little. What is that stain? It's a cockroach. That's what it is. That's that's what it looks like there. It's a cockroach. Yeah, yeah. 
no. So what is, what is the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is the point of going, are you going there just for a sauna? What I like about it is, number one, you know, it's open 24 hours. The two places I go to are open 24 hours. Yeah. Do you not think this is where your itchy feet came from? Yeah, yeah 100%, 100%. 100%. 100%. I tell them all the time. Yeah, one hundred percent. No we, denial. I know, but what what stops you from wearing? You know, Crocs are allowed in there. Yeah, I will refuse. W wait, you don't wear any shoes in there. He doesn't. No. Have you been there with him? I it's wait in the men. parking lot. It's all yeah. wait in the you wait in the parking, parking lot. lot? Yeah, because yeah, he goes in and out just thirty minutes, and he's done. And yeah. I just I hang go out. watch something, and mm -hmm. I'll go in there. Yeah, because it's an only men's thing. There's no in in the other oh, one we go men only. Yeah, only men. The other one we go to. There's a co-ed section, so we go there together. Wait, only men. Everything you add to this is so <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> only men and Polly Shore. Yeah, yeah. Go to this <laughs> tax <laughs> ping pong yeah. sauna. Do yep. they, are there massages? Yes, but I've never done it. And it's funny, and I'm really upset about this. But for like 15 years, if you went to the front counter, there would only be one framed headshot. And it was of me, right? And then every time I would go, like, and I like if I brought a comic there, I always bring comedians there. I go check this out. Hey, who's that? And the guy behind the counter will go, I don't know. <laughs> With you standing there. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right? Like, it frustrated. You know, like, like they hate it. Is there a big room there? Is and there then one day they just took it down, so it's no longer there. Because you kept asking. Maybe. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's massage, there's sauna. Scrubs, for sure, because I've seen scrubs there. Mm. Right. Right. And, and then a ping pong room. Ping you, pong. You got to do no, a Netflix special from that place. Uh, no, I sh I so, <gasps> so I sold a show to NBC. Yeah. And it's about a Korean spa. Going now? Yeah, I had the deal still there. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I wanna, they were waiting to see if they want to green light a pilot, but I wrote, we wrote a script. Based on this place, yeah. What's it called? We don't know yet. It's untitled, but it's about you know it's it's a combination between parasite, like you know, I mean, it's like a you know a dish, not a disheveled, but like a, a a Korean family that's kind of down on their luck, and they own this disheveled Korean spa, and it's and a son that lives in New York comes back into town to revive it, and that's what is this a family owned business? Yeah, mm. it's a three camera sitcom. Yeah, it's a family owned business. Uh -huh. But here's another thing that, and I I don't know, if this is, but sometimes there's police there. Mm. So then you feel safe, right? Is no, that what you're no, saying? No, not not just not not police with no like SWAT team. Oh, them. Like there's even people, safer. There's you go in there and there's people being arrested and uh, because they, they have a lot of smash and grabs on those Michael Jordan posters. Right. <laughs> right it's right, right. probably because they found out that they turned the sauna too high. Maybe the heat maybe, is maybe, too high. Maybe. What temperature is it in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But one day, this is the scariest thing I saw there. Oh my god! And, and you're not gonna believe this, okay? <laughs> I this believe really everything happened. up till now. Go this ahead. really happened. Go ahead. So I was there with my friend Aaron Cater and my friend Melvin Rodriguez, who's an actor. And, um, and they can attest to this. Okay. okay. That, they're, that they're actors? No, no, they're that friends? they were there. So okay. that I'm not making this up. In, in lieu of a picnic. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was, so there's a gigantic, gigantic parking lot. And this happened about 15 years ago. And it was two in the morning. And we were sitting there on these benches. And I was smoking a cigarette. I smoked back then. And all of a sudden we see, 40 call, cars just pull into this gigantic parking lot. Mm -hmm. And then we just see Korean kids get out of the cars with bats and, and they have a full blown war. Like rival? Like a rival mm -hmm. gang war where they're just beating the shit out of each other with bats. And you're sitting there. And you're watching. We're just, we're just, this is insane. It's a gang? Is it a gang? <laughs> yeah. You didn't get up to leave? No. No. <laughs> because our cars You're blocked were blocked in. Blocked in. <laughs> right? So we're just like, are we going to die? Mm -hmm. Like, it was insane. So that's the first one I go to. Uh -huh. The second one I go and to. And you're that's back. It? You're back. This doesn't deter you at all. No, I love it. I know. It sounds it's my nice. favorite. It's my it favorite place nice. in the whole world. Because at 2 in the morning, just FYI, there's no one there. Yes, there is. I know. Sometimes there's a gang war. Yeah. Sometimes there's police. But- when there's not either one of those two things, right? It's the most tranquil place because there's no Sounds one. Do you tranquil. go at two Sounds in the like morning to avoid Polly Shore? Oh, Is shit. that my, my thing that went out? What happened? Oh, his, his headphones. Thing? You unplugged it. Probably. But it, it, you don't have it. It's you. You you could hear yourself. I can't hear myself. How did you just answer me? I could hear it through. The, uh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no. So I was saying, no. What, it's a tranquil. No. So two in the morning. Uh, what was it? 
You go mm-hmm. at two in the morning to yes. avoid Polly. Yeah, I avoid Polly. No, because he's sometimes there. Um, at, at two in the, in the morning, morning yeah, he's there he's, too. Sometimes he's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> what does? Uh, and there? you have not gone in. I've only um, played ping pong there with right. Bobby. Yeah, but that's it. I'm only allowed in the upstairs area. Upstairs area. Because you're a woman. Yeah. yeah she's a, but so the second place. Have I you ever in. thought of just putting on a strap on and going for a sauna? You know pong? what? Um, I'm gonna try that possibly this week. Yeah, that's a good. They would idea. know. They would know because they all. They... I have a really, really good like jawline though. Like I. Yeah, but they're everyone in there is shaped like me, mm-hmm. right? Just kind of like, you know, not like me, stocky mm-hmm. and Korean like. Yeah. Right. So I think they would find out. But the second place I go to, can we go to the second place? We can go wherever Whatever you, you want. want. You're the guest. <laughs> is another 24 hour place I go to, right? And it's called We Spa. You've heard of that. I know We Work. <laughs> I don't know We <laughs> yeah, Spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been to We Spa? No. It's... I don't go to spas either. Oh, you don't? No. Yeah, she has two kids. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's at home. 24 hours, right? Mm-hmm. And it, it's a completely different elevated thing. Yeah. Where there's families and kids there. And it's it, 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 first of all, anything that's open twenty four hours. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, is never an elevated. Is never. <laughs> there's nothing classy that's Wait. open twenty four hours. Don't you think? This is going to piss me off. What he's saying. I, I would. I will side thank with you. you. Thank you so much. You're going to side with him. Yeah, 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 yeah because yeah. our favorite restaurant in LA is Sunung Dan, and, and and it's twenty four uh, hours. 24 hours. But this is. But I'm not saying that it, you can't get something fantastic or even better. But you said this is like high end. Mm. So that's we spa. Does that look ghetto to you? Not ghetto, but as soon as you make things 24 hours, like I, I'd go to a good buffet. But if the if the buffet is a 24 hour buffet, it's not as good. I mean, it's mm-hmm. not as classy. Is that am because I, it takes? I think what you're saying is that it takes a lot of work to operate something 24 hours. So like, what is not the level get, of quality if there you something go. is has to be around? So you were siding hours. with him, and now you're siding with yes, me. Yes, yes, I am actually. I'm back on how we side. Um, oh. I will say this about We Spa. It like is the nice. best restaurants, probably the. Open for an hour. Yeah, for an hour. Okay, you guys are ridiculous. No, there's that, you know that sushi place that's in Beverly Hills where the guy opens and you're not even allowed to order? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, I've never been there. And you had to make like a reservation and be invited by someone too. too. Yeah, we. I I think you went to that. I went to one where she, I I had to pay, my brother and I had to pay $500 a piece. Right. Wait, no, I. And then you made the reservation. You're the one that called. No, I gave that to you and your brother for your birthday. As a gift, I sent them to that omakase place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it they was, it was okay. They hated it because um, every fish that was presented to you like came with like an explanation. Was it you yeah. didn't like the explanation of the fish? No, what do you what mean a- explaining fish? How do you explain fish? Okay, so um, I like sushi restaurants. That um, I like high end sushi restaurants. By the way, I like that's why I don't go to sushi restaurants in the Midwest anywhere. When you say high end, not twenty four hours. Yeah, not t- <laughs> yes, right. Look, can I, I okay, jot down the 24 hour thing because I want to make that argument. Who are you talking to? Me, assistant. Yeah, her, no, to some I got to it. God, noted, God, noted. All right. Jot it down? Yeah, yeah. Let, let's go back. Are you to talking the, to yeah, listeners? I, can I just go back to my 24 hour rant that yeah. you said because it go really ahead. angered me? Okay, go ahead. All right. And I, I, I take this very personally. All okay. Right. So you've never been to the dining cart? Pacific dining cart. Pacific dining cart. Bless you. Bless <laughs> Thank you. you. What is, oh, that, yeah, that sneeze out loud. You okay? I'm good. I'm good. I just she sneezed. sneezed. The Pacific, think, oh, Pacific Dining Cart. Where's that? Downtown? It's in downtown LA. Downtown. No, I, haven't, yeah. I, haven't, I have not been to it. It's 24 hours, right? It's really right. good. Right? You've been there? Yeah. Yeah. The waiters wear tuxedos at three in the morning. Is it classy? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's like a known thing. Yeah. I Politicians go there? I didn't know that. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, real people go there, right? Real people. Real people go there, <laughs> right? It's ex- <laughs> extremely expensive. I mean, you're talking, you're going to drop a couple hundred bucks, right? 24 hours. At a tuxedos. diner? A couple hundred bucks it, at a diner? It's not a diner. It, it's, a, it's, it's an old train they, they converted into um, a restaurant. Right? Is that it's like it's a called? high-end carnies. Yeah. Right. The Pacific Dining Cart. <laughs> yeah. You, you put dining carts oh, in. Oh, you know have, when uh, we went there? We went there when you were getting your ablation because it was right by your hospital. Oh, I was getting you an were, ablation. You were getting an ablation. Yeah, Mom yeah, and yeah. I went right. there. <laughs> so th- this is the Pacific Dining Cart. Whoa. You can get... Look at that steak. Yeah. So yeah. my point is is that... And that's 24 hours. Okay, right? you win. You no, win. All right. So I did, I disagree with you. And and the place we go to um, called Sunung Dang, which is a Korean restaurant, is very high-level high food. All right? We're not talking Denny's. We're talking about high-level. Okay? Okay. So... Color me educated. Okay, thank you. I just didn't know. I did not know. And if you watch the movie Training Day, they did a scene in there um, 
um, in the movie. Yeah, that Wait, was filled with I high ask? end areas to the training <laughs> areas. Always, I watched that to get the good. <laughs> Restaurant suggestions <laughs> and places to take my wife on her anniversary. Training oh, right. day. Oh, it must be good. Okay, Howie. Why do you need a second spa, though? If you say you go to the other one every, every day, day. Daily. Like, when is there... Do you go twice a day then sometimes? I've... Um, so here's the deal. What I did was I realized that the first spa um, wasn't good for my feet. Yeah. Okay. But that didn't stop you. For for many many years, for decades, it doesn't stop me, right? Okay. And and I want to heal my feet, right? right. And Your feet are gorgeous. Yeah. By and the way. secondly, right, um, we spa doesn't have Polly Shore. It's a big point, right? <laughs> and number three, um, there's things about the the Hyundai spa where things are broken. Mm. Like I went there a month ago, and and there was just paint cans and a ladder inside the steam room. Mm -hmm. And there was no walls, and there was some so, something written on the on, on the thing. Wait, a, a wall is st steam room is not a <laughs> it's not a room. How do you keep the steam in? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's broken. It's, oh. there, it's but not, you still attend. You no, know, you couldn't go in there because it, it, there was some some sign. I don't. I can't read in Korean. I, I assume it says "budok" or whatever. Right? I probably <laughs> said we're under construction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't. Yeah. So then we spawn though is um, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I refuse to go for since I've been in LA 25 years. And my friend Gene, when Hyundai was closed. Your mandate. My mandate. Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago, um, when I found out Hyundai's steam room was broken, I, I can't go to I can't go to a spa anymore. And Gene goes, Have you ever been to Wee Spa? And I go, I refuse to go. Because, because because everyone talks about it. Right. It's the most popular one. It's in so LA. popular. And right? I've never talked about it. He hates the mainstream. I hate mainstream. I have to pee. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go pee, go pee. You talked about mainstream. mainstream. As soon as you mentioned mainstream, <laughs> hey, 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 go pee. she pees. So, you know, I refuse. Can we wait till she comes back? Can I get another coffee drink or do you have anything like that? Yeah. No, we don't have to really wait, but go get him another. Coffee. Maybe I'd like to take a break. And have you want to take a break? Mm -hmm. Wow, we're going to have an intermission on this podcast. Is there any, you have Red Bull or anything like that? Yeah, we have, do uh, you like Celsius? But anything with caffeine in it. Yes. Do you want something? She's peeing. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. Are you guys having fun? Yes. Do yes. you feel like we've got anything that is worthy of listening to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do. A thousand percent. A thousand amazing. percent. If thousand nothing percent. else, if nothing else, we have done an, an amazing ad for that spa. <laughs> I bet you the next time you go back, it's going to be Polly Shore and 2,000 other people playing <laughs> Ping pong and uh, uh, I'm afraid he's gonna call me and go, dude, stop talking about me, dude. Ooh, Celsius, really? Oh, cool. so this is, I've had this before, it's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. You don't want to drink, want water, or anything? is it um caffeinated? You could, yes, yes, yes I cannot have any. Oh, well, because your heart, heart. yeah, but you, could, you want water? I'll have a water, but, yeah, thank you. Yeah, have water, have water. Do you want a sandwich or something? A sandwich, well, why do you? You know, after everything that we've been speaking about for an hour, the fact that you were so blown away by being offered a sandwich. We've never been offered a sandwich. No, no. I go to this place that has taxes, ping pong. I sit and wait for him in the fucking parking lot. Um, I got punctured by uh, by um, sesame seed shells. I've got yeah. neosporin all over me. I say, do you want a sandwich? He goes, a sandwich? Yeah. Are you fucking nuts? But can we now? Oh, we have Subway. Can we go to? Can we go to Wee Spa together? I won't go to anything public. I don't go to any public. I've never had a. I won't go to a public sauna. I have a sauna at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, not a sauna at home. My wife turns the the air conditioning off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I. How feel, are you? You've been married for forty two years. Yes. Yes. Unbelievable. Without Shinlin. Wow. wow. That's unbelievable. I have. Um, is it okay if I ask questions about that? You can that? ask him any question. Go ahead. I'm I'm an open book. Um what is um like what is your like love language with each other? How do you get through 42 years and still want to be in each other's like company in like a close way? Well, I think the the answer to be honest with you I think it's uh, being honest enough to go, I don't want to be in your company in a close way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, especially during COVID. I mean, uh, she she said things to me like, what the fuck are you doing in here? Isn't there another place to go? I go, 
it's the kitchen and I'm hungry. <laughs> so there really isn't another place for me to go at this moment. Yeah. But I think that we are just brutally honest with each other. Uh. And uh, we both like our space and we give each other a lot of space. Um, the last couple of years have been really tough because um, – I wasn't on the road, but I did, I was spending over a hundred or two hundred days on the road. Wow! So not being with each other is the secret. I am. Uh, you will like. You know why? I, I think you like me, Bobby, a little bit, but we don't see each other a lot. Yeah. And that's the beauty of me. Yeah. When I'm not around, I'm but really. But he sees his friend Gene a lot, and he still likes him. He doesn't invite me on dates or anything yeah. like that. He's no, invited Gene, me once to a week. Spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, once a week. Yeah. What is your secret? Because you've been, you have been. Tight, you live together, right? Well, we're at a crossroads right now because you know the last couple of years have been pretty hard on us. I think with COVID everybody. and every, everybody, right? But and you're locked in. You're not on the road. Right. You're not doing as many projects. You're probably, you know, yeah. it's it's like the question for us is always like, what are we to each other? Because we're obviously very effective best friends. We're very effective business partners. But there is, we've almost lost that like romantic feeling. Well, okay, so. The romance does romance is is like lust, you know, when it's new and it's fresh. I think the key to find somebody in your life that you go, "This is my best friend," is so amazing, mm. and so and you don't lose that. And if you could learn to really cherish that, that is the the lust that becomes somebody who just gets you and wants to be there with you. And that's the first person that you want to share something with. And that's the first person. And, and I mean, share good things to share equally to share all the bad things that is very uncommon in life to find mm -hmm. somebody like that. And Don't you think that that's normal too? After you've been with someone for so long, I, I mean, I've been with my husband for the same amount of time too. I think you do lose that romance that you had at the very, very beginning. But I think that that's normal, right? Isn't that normal for every I, single relationship? I think if you're if you're pining for that yeah. feeling, then that is a problem. Um, I think well, with us, it's a it's a different. Our love languages are have never been aligned. Like he's somebody who is not. He does not like physical touch. He has. <laughs> I'm with him. Right. And I understand it because, you know, when he was younger, um, that's not how he was shown love. Like he was either beat or he was either it touched. was yeah, touched in like or molested inappropriate. yeah, inappropriately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like his idea of touch comes with a oh, his like fight or flight is like he just doesn't like to be touched. He doesn't like massages like you. Right. Um No, but I get that. And I understand like, that. Like I've never really walked with my wife ever, even in lust, walk with my wife holding hands. I, I would never do really? that. Yeah. Never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm in full acceptance of that, but then I'm also in a place now <laughs> where I'm like, but I I like cuddling. You oh know. no! I can't <laughs> breathe. I hate cuddling. I, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I wanna. All so boring. Well, it's not only boring; it's it's claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. and that doesn't mean I don't like intimacy. Yeah. I like intimacy. You know, well, how do you show intimacy? Did then? you yeah. ever take the love language? Have, how do I show intimacy? She's sitting right here. My <laughs> the the result of intimacy. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Did you, you know. ever take the love love language test, Dad? I don't know the love language. So oh. there's words of affirmation, there's physical touch, there's quality time. And acts of service. Acts of service and gift giving, What the right? fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. It, That's, yeah, yeah. It's how you show. So break it, it down. Break it down. So the, what's the first one? Um, let's start with physical touch, obviously. So that's Howie and I are out. You're out. And yes. I'm out too. My husband, that's his highest one. Me too. That was my lowest one. That's so my, that's where him and I are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're an opposite spectrum, We're so on, physical on, on, touch. Physical touch, okay. Okay. What's the second one? Um, let's go with words of affirmation. You look beautiful. You're very good at words of affirmation. He is so giving with king. his words. I'm the king of, are you good at words of affirmation? I think I am. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. Think I, I think you I, are too. I think I am too. But um, that's my, the, uh, uh, Bobby and I, that's our tool is, is uh, verbal, whether it's comedy, whether it's communication, whether it's. Um, but that's not your love language. You don't look for that. 
You yeah, you don't right. look for um, you're good words at giving. Of affirmation. You're good at giving them. But well, how do you receive like it? Like Bobby, to see I'm because not gonna... I'm I'm so fucking noisy in my head. I don't need you to tell me anything. Please, I can guess just, what your I love just want, languages are. I just are. want my fucking space. Yeah, <laughs> stand back, stand back. Service. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And say so, so that's you don't care if someone gives you words of affirmation. I only want laughter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There <laughs> might that might be a version of Actually, isn't it by yes. people by people that don't matter. It bothers me more. You know, I, I always use this analogy. <laughs> I love this guy. But but this is the analogy. Every comic has this. You will be in a room, and five thousand people will be roaring and loving you, mm -hmm. and you look at one person. You don't know them. You look at one person in the front row that is like uh, looking at you with disgust, not paying attention, and then it it becomes about just grounding them. And I know that Bobby is similar because. Uh, Bobby, uh, last year or two years ago, was at the, uh, two years ago, was at the Just for Last Festival, and I went to see his show. And he remembers, th th that was a fucking killer night. And he rocked the place, and and everybody said, oh my God, the Bobby Lee show was one of the best shows. I went, we go to a bar after where all the comics, they said it was one of the best shows after. He will still tell me the story about what some guy yelled out in the <laughs> middle of the show. And it's- He goes, next! The scene, that was it. <laughs> but he remembers that one word, like the whole, the whole, his whole world yeah. revolves around that one. And I kind of understand that, but that's not the perspective that everybody in I the room would have. I understand, I understand. Okay, so, so it's not words of affirmation, but it could be some version of that. The third one is acts of service. When what, someone does things for you. He mitered the fucking bed! Right, that is acts okay. of service. <laughs> right. But it's so, you know, even though you're saying, and I'm not, n I'm not knocking you for yeah. this, but this is what people don't understand. It is so against our nature mm -hmm. to do that. That's the exactly. Fact, no, let me finish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> now you're interrupting me. Okay. <laughs> it is so against our nature. So the fact that he made that bed is so out of character and so uh, he pushed himself so much forward. Even if he leaves the uh, the, the the shells of the. I agree. Okay, but what what you have to do is you have to see that without the shells. Without the shells. <laughs> Okay, I'll get there. I'll get no, there. No, 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 but you don't have to. Yeah. But what I'm saying is you gotta know, it's kind of like, and you don't have children, I have children. No, but it's kind of like that. You love your child unconditionally. <laughs> if my kid can't say, if my kid can't say I love you at two months old because they can't talk, you have to be cognizant of what they have to offer. What's in their wheelhouse. What's in their wheelhouse. If the kid at two months old can't talk, can't even really make eye contact, you still feel that same love and, and dependency. You know what I mean? Right. So think of Bobby and me like infants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if one? her love language is physical touch, then that's what she's looking for. Then maybe she doesn't, even if, though she accepts it and appreciates it, like that's not what she's looking for is the bed maid. She, she's not looking for acts of service. She's looking for physical touch. Right. But I think in this life, <laughs> no, in this life, <laughs> you got to take what you get and find a way to cope with that. You know, mm -hmm. life is about coping skills. And how do you cope with a, you know, you may go like, I'm not getting this, I'm not getting this, and I'm not getting this. What are you getting? Why don't you're, you create a robotic arm that can be your proxy for when you don't want to like, get like cuddle? Like get me like a blow up doll or something you can operate from afar. I spent. You'd be okay with a like a robot or an anything, inflatable. Yeah. You'd be anything. okay with an inflatable. Anything. anything That's amazing, warm. Bobby. Buy or uh, something a hot inflatable. I, <laughs> so she for the last ten years, every night, give me foot rubs. I don't. It, you want massages all the time. Come, please, please. Let's not fight. All right. <laughs> that's not. You want foot rubs all the time. In fact, when her mom comes over to clean the house, right? Can I say that or no? You can, she helps to clean. She helps cleanse the house, right? Um, she demands her mom to massage her feet for an hour, right? I oh, so it's not even a romantic yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's y so you what, or her mom. Yeah. So what I it's did? Anybody? Was I, get... I bought. It's uh, coming in the mail. I bought a, a a very expensive foot massager where you stick your feet in. Well, you know what? I feel bad. You've been here like for an hour, uh, Kyle. You want to <laughs> rub her feet? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, um, is that okay if Kyle comes in and rubs your feet? I don't know why I went out. Or Caroline, it. Caroline. Let's go back to the love language, okay? Let's. Okay, go, go I want to get to the, all of them. So okay. that was. So that's number three was um, um, words of acts. So there's we acts done of, through acts physical of service. touch. You guys don't like words of affirmation. What about, we don't need them. We don't you don't need, need them. them. Yeah. What about wait? Isn't laughter? I sort think of, you do need them because I know that you look at like reviews. You never tell stuff. her she's beautiful all the time. She's re he's really good at that. Also, but, the, okay. but that's words of affirmation is not my number one. Your number thing. Desire. Number one is touch. Touch is my number. Yeah, but one. you but you happen to uh, and excuse me for being so forward. And if you want me to edit this line out, you you, you happen to partner with somebody that was molested as a child and right. was beaten. So for you to need that and have that at the top of your mm -hmm. is that okay that I said that? I love it. But also, Howie, I <laughs> no. But I'm saying if the number one thing you need is to be touched, yeah. you partnered with somebody that was the only touching they ever had was in a fucking horror show. Same though, but show. him and I have that in common. So I was also beaten and molested and assaulted most of my life. That's one of the one things we have in common. Well, I'm so, not saying that's the normal reaction. Right. So you want. But when yeah. we first met, because he was just so in the mindset of I'll do anything for Kalila to be my partner, he pretended that physical touch was one of the things he enjoyed. So he would cuddle me for years. For, for, for the, the first, first two, two years, years. I, I was a cuddle. He was, was a cuddler. Like, he fake cuddled. But everybody does that. You know, no, no, nobody. I'm on a show called Bullshit on Netflix. And I, I love that show because the bullshit is how we live. Right. No first date, no first month, no first year is the real person. You, you are in a marriage now for 10 years. I'm talking to my daughter here. You guys are in a relationship for 10 years. This is real. Yeah. Nothing. It's bullshit. Bullshit. I believe that bullshit is the fuel of every relationship for the first <laughs> five years. It's all fucking bullshit. It is. Nobody is being, nobody shows up their true self. Right. Nobody. Right. right. You know, and even our, what we do for a living, you know, we're not always silly, funny people. Right. Mm. You know, it's bullshit. That comic that you see on stage is fucking bullshit. It really is because 24 seven, you're a human and right. nobody sees the real person. That's why when they Ever say it takes 10 years to find your voice on stage, because it, when you first do, do stand up, you pretend to be a comic, right? Because you watch it so much. So you have the cadence of other comics that you've seen. And then the good ones just become authentically themselves as time goes on. But it takes five to 10 years to even get there. Yeah. yeah you yeah, look yeah. at the Dave Chappelle now versus the Dave Chappelle doing his first Letterman. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's like night different. and day. Yeah. And Evelyn, even me. Is the number one comment I always get was, it must have been so much fun growing up with Howie Mandel as And it was dad. a nightmare. And it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It was we, we didn't have fun. She hated me for years. Why? Why? Uh, we Because I was a rebellious teenage girl, uh. and he was a very overprotective dad. Mm. And so I didn't have a door on my room. Like, I was grounded all the time. So mm. wow. it wasn't fun. Wow, wow, wow. He wasn't the funny person that you saw on stage. Not fun at, at all. And I didn't believe in being fun with my uh, child. You know, I felt that, uh, that people who knew me for my act, like when their friends came over, kind of in the name of trying to be funny with me and trying to get me to be funny, were incredibly disrespectful. Oh. Uh, you know, so I just, I wasn't, most of her friends were afraid of me more than enjoying me. Mm. Wow. They only came over when he was on the road. Wow. wow. Yeah. I, that, I, that's so, un, I, I couldn't even imagine that. I don't uh, see that side of you. Well, you're not my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And it was only me, only the oldest. But have you softened? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's married with two kids, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to also realize, and I'm not going to uh, talk out of school, but I kind of am. She went to a school and a place where th the three movies were made. Mm -hmm. Not good movies. Mm. You know, uh, what's the one with Justin Timberlake? You hung with those people. Was that Alpha Dog? Alpha Dog. Mm. Remember that movie? Yeah. The guy murdered uh, another kid because he didn't get his drug money. Mm -hmm. You hung with those people. He wasn't a good friend. I've You been... hung with those people. I can't tell you how many times I showed up at where she said she wasn't to physically drag her out. Wow. Mm. And were you embarrassed when you'd show up? Yeah. 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 And yeah. your probably friends are like, oh my God, your dad's a Howie Mandel? Um, no, they knew. Oh, they knew. They knew not right, to right. mess with him, with Jackie's dad. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's so, wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking surprised, man. I'm being honest. That's amazing. So what have you learned? 
Hmm. We, have, we, have, we, have we gone faith. through the love language? We haven't no. gone through all. Let's go through go the love, and then okay. we'll see what we learn. Okay, so, go ahead. What we, we've done the uh, words of affirmation. What's the next one? The next one is quality time, I think. Yes, quality time. Isn't that subjective? <laughs> yeah. You would have to, um, you know, create your own um, idea or communicate that to your partner. This is what quality time means to me. But usually it's like, you know, going on dates or, you know, watching TV, you know. No, that's so fucking, yeah. that's so fucking, but, but you don't think, see, from the outside, can yeah. I just say something? Yeah. The fact that you guys do a podcast together, mm -hmm. I think this is quality time with my daughter. Mm. <laughs> no, I really do. Yeah. <laughs> I do too! Do you not think this is quality time together? No, I do. But I mean, it's different when you're in a relationship. Like if mom was always going out to dinner with her friends and you're like, uh, I want to have dinner with you too. Then you'd be upset that she wasn't spending the quality time with you. you but know what quality I'm is like saying funny. The funny guy. Who's the funny guy? What's funny? That's <laughs> subjective. Is quality time the fact that Bobby has brought you into his life and even into, you didn't do this before. No, 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 quality, so this is just the love language. It doesn't mean that this is what I desire. I'm just naming them. So what well, do you desire quality, quality time? Quality time is probably, I would say third on my list. Because and do you you're not supposed feel, to rank and do you them. Not, and do you not feel that, that you get that? Um, so we have very opposite hobbies. In fact, we don't, our hobbies don't intersect at all. Should would, they not? Um, Should I, they? I think the one thing that a we do- A hobby is not a shared thing. Quality time that we do do really good together is we watch a lot of obviously talent shows together. Yeah. So that we do have that. We do have our own version of quality. And time. no, yeah. no complaints and? there. No complaints there. Okay, none. None. So the only thing that <sighs> I wait, why is this about me all of a sudden? Not. Not. It's not. It's not. No, no, because you said we're, you're at a crossroads. No, no, no. We're trying to figure out what your love languages are. Yeah. Right. You're Wasn't to that me it, my, Jackie? Me and my daughter. No, yeah. no. Both you and Bobby. She's just listing what the love I think languages I'm closer are, to and you're him than yeah. And you're making get married. <laughs> I no. don't like touching, so that would be. So that's out. Uh, Affirm, uh, maybe affirmation. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. All right. So um, years ago, I was playing in the garage. I played video games, and I played like eight hours, right? right? And she, you know, obviously, you know, my partner doesn't like that, right? Because it's like there's no. So what I did was I took the Xbox and I just brought it into the bedroom. Oh my! And God. I played it. How near amazing her, is that? Near her, <laughs> and she's like, "That's not what I'm talking about," <laughs> right? But it's to me. It was such a gesture of uh, of kindness. Yes. <laughs> and, and, right. So I could play next to her and just location, keep, look, location, look, and look, location. And look over and go and just keep playing. But I'm we're in spending time together. You're there for all the bonuses. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, you know how it's, every it's, level he it shared sure with you. It feels like it. <laughs> yeah. So what's so okay? So the, the next one is I think the last acts of one service is acts of service. So do you like it when people? do things for you like making the bed um get right. running coffee getting you your favorite burrito you at Colfax. you did you do that all the i think time. That's uh, can i just say one. something i don't need it oh okay i really just yours is words of affirmation i know yours that's is words of affirmation. number one words of affirmation because i have i don't have uh very much self-esteem mm. and and so i need that and i need to be uh respected and liked and laughed at by people I don't know and wouldn't make a difference in my life. That's they, how you feel loved is words of affirmation and laughter. Sounds and laughter, yes. Yeah. And that's all I need. How do you feel loved, Bobby? Acts of service? Acts of service and words of affirmation. All right, What you are got acts there. Of acts of service is um, when he needs me um, to drop him off at the airport or pick him up from the airport or run him, give him his favorite Colfax burrito. Well, you, or... you talk about service. You're waiting for him in the parking lot at the uh, at, tax yes. ping pong Mine place. Mine is acts of service. When I was in therapy, we found out it was acts of service because everything I was desiring was like, watch the kids and mm -hmm. like do or clean up the mess. Or that was all like acts of service. And that's what I valued. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay. You don't like acts of service then? I don't need them. Mm. I only need, if somebody told me I was funny once a day, I would be the happiest guy. <laughs> so yours is words, <laughs> of words, words of affirmation. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want, I don't want to be touched. Mm -hmm. I don't need to touch. I don't need anything. I don't need anything else. And maybe that's a problem and it's probably is a shortcoming and that's why I'm in therapy and, and, uh, I'm medicated. Oh, 42 years. I mean, that has a lot to, you know, whatever. She's amazing. I think that I lucked out. I think I hit the luckiest I think I hit a fucking jackpot. I don't think she did. <laughs> yeah, but I, in the forty-two years, you never had desires dependent. Not, 
Well, you could be on. Need to penetrate another woman? Ask my daughter. <laughs> what, what, what kind of? How, how do you put it like that? Have, have, have <laughs> I, I ever? Mean, have I, mean, I ever? Yeah, uh, I, okay, I, I think I, I said it in the wrong way. So, um, I have to be honest. You're right? a he Everyone's a human being. You're gonna have desires. Like I'll be on a club and I'll see a beautiful woman. I go, oh, I would love to penetrate her. Not penetrate. Let's just say. But is, that, <laughs> is that not a good word? Penetrate? Yeah. It's, it's very, like, scientific. Yeah, that's why I'm Penetrate is scientific? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the I like excuse. I was her. doing. I, I would love to enter her. Honey, it's not what you think. I was just doing a science experiment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love to enter that fine woman. Oh, wait, well, no, how about you? Do I find other people attractive? Yeah. I have found other of people course. attractive. Yeah, okay. Of course. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah, right. Bobby. So what is that? So but I've what? never acted on those impulses. Me like, either. Yeah, but, you know... Um, uh, it, listen, I believe, like our psyche relationships are there's ups and downs and it's really hard to continuously maintain at especially the level that uh, happens in the first as you said five years or three years mm -hmm. you can't maintain that but you also can't have the expectation that that is going to be maintained and then if you focus on we don't have that anymore that's the glass half empty right you know you, you got to focus on what you do have because at the, after five years, you gain uh, you gain uh, the ability to communicate. You gain a trust. You gain a friendship. You gain a connection that isn't there in the first five years. Yeah. So if if that is important for you and you respect all those other things, then that's why you hang on and you continue working. Mm. My husband told me that he listened to an interview with Jerry Seinfeld, and I didn't hear it firsthand, so I might be not stating it correctly, but he said that Jerry Seinfeld was saying that he got divorced and then got remarried and realized that he ended up having all the same fights and all the same arguments as his first wife and just realized it wasn't the person. It's just like what relationships are. I don't think Jerry, I didn't know Jerry was married before. Was it not true? Then maybe it wasn't Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> it, it could have been Jerry Seinfeld, but I have an argument against that. What? Right? It's like, um, like for instance, my therapist says, because I have some problems mm -hmm. that I, I you know when it comes to our, the problems in our relationship i can own up to things that i can fix right and for me i had a chronic porn addiction right which was difficult for me to get intimate with her right because i was being intimate with some an, an ad, you know, a fantasy world right mm -hmm. and um and and the problems that arise in our relationship has been the same problems as my previous relationships and my therapist says you know i have to clean and look at my side of the street so that if god forbid her and i break up or whatever i don't want to bring that into the next relationship so that i could just you know approach it in a different way so i think you know i mean um seinfeld you know I me mean, should do some work on are you guys doing on couples himself. therapy uh yeah we have yeah. yeah you should mm -hmm. yeah. you should yeah and and do you feel like today we've had a good session <laughs> This is great. So. Yeah, this is great. I'm we, really yeah. excited that we found out your love language. What's my love language? Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. I love the audience. I think there should be a sixth love language, and it should be food. I think that I'm him and I like I'm a feeder. I'm somebody who shows people that I love them just by like either cooking or making sure that they eat well. We like similar foods too, so it's like we really bond over food. Yeah. Let me ask you something. So mm -hmm. you said so marriage is not I don't know that the piece of paper will make a difference and it yeah. either is necessary or maybe even it's a negative because it might add pressure to but you want children. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Uh I I, I do and I don't. You know, you can't, you can't have it both ways. You no, know, I, I mean, I mean, it, it, when I say that, it's not like a one day I will, one day I won't. No, I once you got, do. I just got a phone call that my son wasn't picked up from school. So hold on. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. That's the husband doing service. <laughs> it's access service. Is my phone in here or no? I'm not sure, sweetie. Oh. Do you, you lose your phone? It's probably in the car. So do you have serious dis discussions about having children? Um, that's been, um, it's a point of contention. It's, it, it's, it, it, it hasn't, it, it's not until very recently that he's able to have uncomfortable conversations. And so when I would broach the subject, um, years ago, it was always like, here's, here's what, what I think the problem was. We would always make it podcast fodder and we would always have opposing views. What happened? So that's okay. Everything. Okay. Yeah, it's actually my fault. 
Okay. I didn't realize that today was Tuesday and not Monday because it was Memorial Day, and he uh, gets out a half hour earlier. Today. Okay, your fault. My fault. So, but so we're talking safe. about uh, he's safe. My husband's safe. Okay, good. So okay. Uh, we're talking about having children because I will tell you this: as somebody who's sitting here with offspring, there is no decision that you can make in life, and I'm not saying this is a negative. Um, this is definitely a positive that is more life altering and you can never turn away from you cannot you know and maybe and and if you do then you have a serious problem and i don't know what your relationship with both your parents i know you didn't have a great relationship with your father yeah but he would never abandon me but i'm saying you're always a parent you yeah. don't always have to be married you don't always have to be together with your significant other you don't always have to be the boyfriend but you're always the parent i'm committed to that um, you have you have yeah. to be. I think the mother. Uh, I sh maybe I'm being misogynistic. I th I, th I was going to say the mother, but I think innately, like genetically and chemically, there's an attachment. I know that some people don't have that attachment, but I think that when you bear a child, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes out of you, and you are, you know, and you're, you have to feed. You sustain it. You can sustain it alone without anybody at the beginning. Um, there's something that's even more of an attachment. I think it's harder for a father to feel that same mm -hmm. attachment right away because it's just like this meatball that's sucking on <laughs> your wife's breasts, you know. Uh, but uh, I think well. it's, I think my fear is because I feel like my parents didn't do a great job with me, right? Um, that I am going to somehow scar an, a, a, a child. In the same way my parents scarred me and I don't want a child to go through the same human experiences that I did. I, I will promise you that if you should come to the decision of having a child, they will not go through what you did because you were so scarred and you're so aware you will not do it. Never. Yeah. But you will, you will, you know, beat yourself up to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And, uh, you have to break that cycle and that's what all humanity is. But that being said, you know, you're here, you survived it. Your parents brought into this world somebody that makes millions of people laugh, makes millions of people happy, somebody who's smart and is worthy of being here. I think everybody tries their best. Sometimes their best is not, if you're comparing it to others and what should be done, you should not have been beaten. You should not have been abused. You should not, but you're here. Mm. And you know that your child if you should decide to have one, will be in a better place than you are. Always, always will be in a better, will not. So fear, if you should, fear-based decisions should not never be made. You should never make a decision based on fears. You should only make decisions based, just like art, you know, or anything we do, fear kind of clouds everything. So listen, Here's what I know about you, Bobby. I'm not talking you. I think it's good when people are responsible enough to say, I can't handle a child and I wouldn't. I think too many people don't make that decision and a lot of shit is brought into this world because they don't make the decision. But here's what I will tell you. At a lot of shit is brought into this world? Well, uh, the people a go through a lot of shit. <laughs> I saw them laughing too. At the, the way you said, you mean like baby, like children are brought into this world and then there's a lot there's of a lot shit of shit that, on them because yeah. the, the the people that are that bore them and that raise yeah. them aren't uh equipped to raise them and right. to to uh create a a full functioning productive human being mm -hmm. does that make sense yes but here's what i will tell you bobby and i, I could say this to you more than her because i don't know her but you are a good human being and at the basis of of um parenting even if you don't think you have the skill set you know it's the one thing this is why i tell everybody whether you were um genetically um kind of diagnosed with somebody like like me the, with ocd or adhd or whatever you're doing ultimately the thing that they can't diagnose and can't be created is a good human being mm. so just being a good human being is probably the most important aspect of being a parent and creating other good human beings and if they feel your heart and who you are and your mind i know that whether you have a daughter whether you have a son or whether you have nobody the daughter and the son will be a good human being mm. and this planet needs good human beings yeah you can't 
create an asshole from somebody who is not an asshole. So let me just, uh, like Jeffrey Dahmer, right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so Je Je let's go Jeffrey Dahmer, right? Okay, you're right. Yeah, that's your fear. parents, right? Like I've seen interviews with his parents. They seem... I don't know that we have all the information. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm being honest with you. And then I'm he's fascinated eating Filipinos. by that. I don't know what, who he ate, but like. He did eat a couple of Filipinos. Yeah, they ate a couple of Filipinos. My people, yeah. But they must be tasty. Are they tasty? <laughs> <laughs> you would but know. my point is, is that, like, I, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they are very tasty. They're, they're very, tasty. very tasty. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I don't know why when I see, like, I always do background checks on, like, serial killers and stuff to see what kind of upbringing they have. You know what I mean? And it was, a lot of them are terrible upbringings, you know, and... Um, no, I hear that Swit, uh, that Hitler's parents were just the kindest. <laughs> Barbara and Sid uh, Hitler were yeah, just yeah. The, the most wonderful people. In very the, mindful. Yeah. And, mindful you know I mean? and good, good people. Listener, good listener. So there's an exception to every story. But I'm just saying, you know, yeah. not having a child out of fear is not the reason right, to not right, have a right, child. Right, 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 right. To not have a child because you go... I don't want to give of myself or I don't want that responsibility is the reason not to have a child. I just don't want that. I just, I'm, I'm, I want to be, I want to take care of myself. I want to do what I want to do. That's the reason to not have a child. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, with understanding that mm. to have a child just because you're supposed to grow up, get married and have children is not the right reason. And that's why there's a lot of shit in this world as you, la <laughs> as you laugh at. It really is. You're not supposed to have a child. You're supposed to want to have a child. Mm. So if you want to have a child, have a child. Okay. If you want, if you're not having a child because you're afraid that uh, you're going to, your son's going to eat Filipinos, that is not, <laughs> that is not the reason okay. to not have a child. Okay, okay. Does that make sense? It's clear now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. And on that note, I think we've accomplished something today. <laughs> I honestly, I had a really good time. Did you not? I did. I, had a good I time. feel spent. I, Jack, had you have a good time? I did have a good time. How about you, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It was enjoyable. And did we did we learn anything? I think so. I think I we learned, learned a lot. lot. We learned a lot. Did we come to a conclusion? No. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's up in the air. Everything's up in the air. Yeah. And leave it up in the air. We'll leave it's it up okay in the air. There. It is okay. We You're okay. We can yeah, revisit yeah. it one day. Yeah. We can shelf it. Well, I'll time. tell you what. We'll we could take... do like a weekly se session. No, but I think <laughs> we'll leave it up in the air. We'll leave yeah. it up but in hopefully air. the listeners or the viewers on YouTube will co will comment and share and mm -hmm. subscribe. And we'll take all your comments and your sharing seriously and pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully they'll listen to you because they're not going to fucking listen to me <laughs> or my daughter. But thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. That's what's great. Can I pee real quick? No.